Hmm. Never seen that bucket before. Pretty big bucket. Never seen that one before. Um, you guys. This is not our tool shed. I'm just gonna turn around and close the door quietly behind me and walk away very fast and quietly. So just a little bit about this farm. This farm um, right now um, is purely cattle. Now this, for instance, this field right here, they own. But they rent it out to farmers who put a crop on it. And I don't know what was on this before, to be completely honest, before you know they took it out. Um, but they run it out to farmers that put a crop on it. And then these guys that own all the land, they farm the cattle and they raise the cattle. And so I don't know how many acres they've got of pasture land, but it's quite a bit. And then they mow and bale the hay for the cattle and the straw and everything. And then the, far the land they don't use, they run it out and have it farmed as a crop. Now, here in North Dakota, they still farm corn like we do in Indiana, and they farm soybeans, but they farm um, a few other things, like I've seen sunflowers um, and a few other things. I don't quite know what they were. I never asked, um, but it's... It's, it's just really cool to see the difference. Difference between this and Indiana. But like I said, these are Angus cattle um, out here. And so they raise these cattle. And then they just run out the rest of the land. So it may, you know, and up here, sometimes it's... I, it's hard to tell because I feel like it's a, I don't know, you see quite a bit of cattle farms and you see quite a bit of just crop farms from what I've seen. So it's pretty cool. And up here, you know, these guys, these farms have tons of cattle and these guys don't have a whole lot, but they have quite a bit of cattle. And um, so they have lots of cattle, some of these farms do, and it's, sorry about the wind noise, um, but it's easier up here to have a lot of cattle because you can have a lot of pasture land and a lot of grass to mow and have those cattle on. So, that's why you see 
big cattle farms, big farms out here because there's just a lot more wide open land. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but right there is a tumbleweed. Never seen a tumbleweed before. It's pretty cool. Uh, so it's, and this farm is not very, this cattle farm is not very big by any means. Um, I will say that it's not super duper big. They don't have brand new equipment and all that. I mean, it's, I don't know how to put it. It's decent size for up here, I think. I think it's decent size for up here, but they're not the big, humongous cattle farms. You see that brand new equipment and they're not that. Um, they don't have 2,000 head of cattle out here. Um, so, just a little explanation of this farm up here in North Dakota. So, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to come out here and see. This is about the only chance I've gotten just to talk to the camera. Just because I've been so busy and stuff. But, I like it. Only, I don't like the snow. They get a whole lot of snow up here. And I mean a lot of snow. So, probably couldn't move up here. But in the summertime, it's really cool. And I really want to get up here sometime to see them move the cattle. Because I heard, because they just walk them down the road, I think. And so I've heard that it's pretty cool to see. Um, so I would like to come up here sometime, but who knows when that is. It's 18 hours here from where we live in Indiana. So yeah, but other than that, I like it up here. Just probably will never move up here. So if you listen, just just listen for a minute. Besides maybe the wind noise in the camera, it's really quiet out here. And that's really nice. Um, some days it is windy. There's been a couple days we've been here and it's been windy, but other than that, it's, I mean, it's really pleasant out here, I guess. So, um... And it's really cool compared to Indiana because out here it's wide open. It's just a whole bunch of wide open space. And so it's just really cool to come out and look and say, or just see, you know, you can see forever out here it seems like and I mean you can see trees off in the distance but not near like Indiana has a lot of small not small but closed in fields by trees here completely wide open these fields are humongous
So this is their cow pen. These cows have had more than two calves, I think, I think. And then the heifer pen's actually over there, you can't see it, but yeah. And the camera doesn't do really justice how big this pen is or how many cows are in here, but. And then um, in the summer, these cows would go out to pasture. These cows go out to pasture. And they've got quite a bit of pasture land. This is field. This isn't pasture, but. So, it's pretty cool just to see all the wide openness out here. But in the winter, they come here at the house. And right now, it's actually calving season. I think they've had five calves, I think. I think five calves since we've been here no four calves since we've been here five calves total this year so yeah this right here is their heifer pen they were over there but you can see they have goats in there now they let the goats in there but they have all their heifers in here so So right now, I'm in what they call their machine shed, their main machine shed. Um, and this is really where they have most of the machines, I guess. Um, so starting off here, just showing you around a little bit. It is winter, so they have everything packed full in here. But they've got this case 930 Comfort King. And yes, there is an airplane going over. If you hear that, it's a case 930 Comfort King. As you can see, and I'm not sure what this tractor is. And then they've got an old horse buggy back here. These two tractors do not run. Don't know why, I just know they don't run. If you come over here, they've got their case baler. I think it's a 465, I think is what it is. These are big beds of feed. But yeah, it's a case, no. It's been in, I can't see it, but. Let's take a look here. Case 8465 round bale is what that is. I'm coming up the line here. got their Bobcat 773 skid loader or they call it a skid steer um, but just a Bobcat 773 and then you've got their new Holland Haybine looks like a 1475 Haybine now this is I've seen disc binds but I've never actually seen a Haybine so this is pretty pretty cool I've seen it before here but I had never seen a haybine before I came here you know years ago first time but I've seen disc binds before I've never actually seen a haybine so yeah and then leading up here snow blowers but then you've got your Case 7140 Magnum. Front wheel sis. It's got a loader on it. KMW 1760 loader. Um, yeah. So 
7140 Magnum, pretty cool. And they actually have the bucket hydraulic cylinders off of it because they went bad and were leaking and stuff. So they took them into town, so they actually have the bucket. It's actually sitting outside there, but there's no cylinders on it. And then you got their Sportsman 400 here, players. And then just their workbench, their welder, air compressor, and stuff. But, and then they actually have a, an Alice Chalmers in the, what they call the combine shed, where they used to store their old combine, where they used to run crops. Um, but they don't have any more, so they have their Alice Chalmers sitting in there. It's a, it doesn't have a cab on it. This tractor right here is their biggest tractor. And then they have another tractor. I can't remember what it is. It has a cab on it, two-wheel drive. It has duals on the back. Um, can't remember exactly what it is. But, yeah, it, I think it's over at the other farm. But, yeah. And the Volvo front-end loader, which you saw. But it's over at the other farm, too. And then they've got their David Brown 995 right here. There's something wrong with the steering column, is what I was told. So, don't know. Pretty cool. Never seen a David Brown before until I came here. And got their big snowblower that goes on the back there, 7140 Magnum. Never seen a snowblower this big before until I came here. So, pretty cool. Goes on the three point hitch on the back. And then, I don't know how well you can tell, that's a Massey Ferguson manure spreader right there. Massey Ferguson 160. I'm assuming that's their old manure spreader. So, yeah. And then this is the barn that has all the goats and sheep in it. They don't keep cattle in this barn, just goats and sheep. So, yeah. And a dog. The dog didn't stay in here. The dog goes in the dog kennel. But, yeah. Pretty cool. that the calves were fed with hay and straw didn't feed we fed most of the straw this morning but mainly hay this afternoon so There's some pretty big piles of round bales, if you ask me. Maybe that's just me. Well, guys, this is the last you'll see of this place for a while. 
Don't know exactly when we'll be back, but hopefully it's sometime relatively soon. As long as it's not in the dead of winter, I'm fine with it when they have all their blizzards. It's like 3.45 in the morning. I'm gonna leave at four. Head back home to Indiana and uh, get into planet season because that is just right around the corner. Gotta pull the planter out and stuff, so. Yep. So they goodbye to this place for a while. We'll be back, but no promises when. <laughs>